All right, hello again, guys. Uh, this time, I'm going to, in this video, I'm going to start showing you how to start building your actual body of a report. I'm going to introduce you to changing the margins, to changing the location of the page number and what you can do in the header and footer, and also to change, uh, to show you how to introduce a section. And actually, I'm going to start with a section because if you think about it, you, you flip over the title page, you're going to be greeted with a table of contents along with other preamble, and then when you encounter your report body, you're probably going to have a heading that says something like introduction. So let's get started on that. So after the title page, we're going to introduce a section, and I'm going to call it the introduction. And you can label this, and this is something cool that you'll want to check out, and I'll show how this is useful later. Uh, you label this, you, you want to ca call it some things, for example, I'm going to call it a section and I'm going to label it intro for the introduction. This can be called on later. So let's say if you start talking and you're on page 40 or whatever, you can say, uh, this was discussed as in section 2 or whatever, which is Tobias's lifestyle. And if you called on the section two, or in this case, section intro, it would point to the page, you can point to the page number that that section is on, as well as the title of the section. So this is cool, and I'll show you how that works later. But for now, I'm gonna get started on actually writing the report. So this is the first line, first line of the report. This report will document on, Bias, the groundhog who lives in my backyard. All right, so let's build that. And there we go. So we have our section and we have our text. Now let's say we wanted to start a new paragraph. This is a really short paragraph, but starting a new paragraph, next line, I could say something like, Tobias likes to live in a hole in the ground. And if I build that, you see that Tobias likes to live in a hole in the ground starts with in the same paragraph that is the first paragraph despite starting on it the second line this is something that i mentioned in the last tutorial and one way you could go about fixing this is with a double slash if you do that you see that there's no indentation so this is why i prefer to use a double return for text formatting because here we have the indentation and this is the way that text paragraphs should look in a report in my opinion at least and then if i were to continue the text will wrap around properly, don't you worry. And if I build that, there you go, it's wrapping around properly and you don't have to worry. Okay, so other things that I mentioned are the page margins and the location of this uh, page number. I don't like the page margins and I don't like this number. Um, instead of typing out a whole bunch here, I'm going to uh, import a package that will fill out the document a little bit for me. So this is the first time I'm importing a pack package. I'm importing Lipsum. A package is kind of like a macro in a sense. It, it's like a it's like a a system you can use to automatically do things for you in the report. For example, if I make a one paragraph long Lipsum section, I get a paragraph here of Latin nonsense that will just fill up space. So you can better see the formatting that's about to happen. So you see that the margins are well established here it looks like two inches or something so let's say I want to make these margins smaller how do I go about doing that well I'm going to use a package the geometry package so I'm going to use a package and I'm going to set the margin to be say one inch uh, and I want to include the footer in this margin and of course it is the geometry package if I build now you will see that my margin is only an inch all the way around, including for the footer. Now, you might say, okay, well, I want margins that are one inch all the way around, except for the left side, because let's say we're gonna bind this report, you know, the, the binding might take up half an inch, and if that's the case, your page will not be centered for the amount of white space that you see. So, you could do something like margin all around, and then comma left is one and a half inches, and I build that, and there we go. So the, the one here also moved to be centered with the rest of the text. And now I have one and a half inches on the left versus on the right. Now the left here has to be on uh, to the right of margin because it will do the margins first. For example, if I cut this out and I put it, whoa, what happened here? If I put left here, 
you see it would have made the margin left one and a half inches and then it would have made the margins all around one inches so we don't want that so you definitely have to keep in mind the order of your text see how it changes like that okay so something else I'd like to show you how to change here is the position of this page number this page number right now is in the center and I don't like that I like having my page number off to the right as well you might go I don't just want it to say one I want to say it I want it to say page one how do I go about doing that well to do that you're gonna have to include a new package and this package is called the fancy HDR package so I'm gonna just comment out header and footer stuff just so that you guys can follow along what I'm doing so I'm going to use a package and it's called fancy HDR and you guys can look this up online and there's an instruction manual that goes with it uh, fancy HDR uh, what you can do with it is you can change your page style from plain to fancy and if we go and do that we can take a look what happens ooh isn't that fancy we got a line we have a section ooh that looks really nice doesn't it but I don't want that I want to change this down here so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to clear the header and you do that by calling on fancy head and we clear the footer by calling on fancy foot and if I build that you'll see that the page number is now gone and the section here is gone. Then what I can do is uh, after I've cleared the fancy foot I can write a new fancy foot. So what I'm gonna write is I'm gonna write I'm gonna cause it to line up on the right and then I'm going to write the page. This is a command. So if I do this there we go we got it built up on the right here and it is lined up with the text and that's why I included the foot in my geometry package is to make sure that the footer also extended out to there. Now we have this line up here and I don't want that line. Maybe I want that line down here. Well what do we do about that? Well what we're going to do is we're going to renew command and this is writing over it's the short description of it is you're writing over something that's already been written so we're going to change the head rule width so the width of that line that you see right there to zero points. And if I do that, it gets rid of the line up here. I can also do the same, renew command for the bottom if I wish. So uh, that would be foot rule width, I believe. And it should be zero points right now. And if I type in zero points again, it should do nothing. That's right. But if I wanted a line down there, I could change it to one point. If I wanted a line in the footer, I could change it to one point and there you go this is what the fancy HDR package allows you to do now I don't want either of these lines so I'm gonna write these out to zero but these are just things you can play with and there's even more you can play with if you read the instruction manual on the fancy HDR so that's all that I wanted to show you right now where we are is we have ourselves a title page that looks really snazzy or at least better than it did before in my opinion and now we have our margin set so that we can bind this remarkable two-page report and still have our text centered. We have our section and we have some text and we have it formatted exactly like we would like to have it. In the next video, I'm going to build up some more sections. I'm going to show you how to start a section on a new page. So instead of having introduction and then like section two right here, we could have introduction and then our next section, which might be like, Tobias Lifestyles on the next page, and how to install a table of contents to keep track of all of these sections. I'll see you then.